Hello everyone, welcome back to Nitya Cloud Tech. Hope all of you are doing good. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most common scenario in data warehouse, where basically we need to move the file into the archive location. So let me try to understand you. Why example? So what happened generally on data warehouse? We receive a file on source. So let's say I have received file one on source. So I receive this file on daily basis or weekly basis based on the frequency. I need to do certain op operation based on the requirement. So I will move into the destination and I will do operations, some operation, whatever the requirement, business requirement. After that, I need to move this file into the archive. What happened? I will receive this file on daily basis so i need to create here one folder based on date let's say 2022 today i am creating this video today is 28 ua so i should have this folder under this i need to move this file and again i have another folder for the next day and file will be moved like this so i need to make this dynamic this archive folder so that uh, my file will be automatically moved there is another way let's say i need to move i need to create multiple folder let's say 2022 under that i need to create one folder and under that i need to move far or maybe I need to create hierarchy on three level, year, month, and day. Then I need to move this file. So let's create, let's try to create pipeline and see one by one all these. So let me show you in blob storage. I have this. In the source, I have this customer file. And if I show you archive, I don't have any file. So first, I will create the date. And then after that, uh, date and year. And then year, month, and day, like this. Let's try to create. Let me move here. Create new pipeline. So I can give name. Append. Duration of append time, let's say. Let me minimize this so that it would be visible properly. Let me take this activity copy data to move that file. Source. So let me create data set. New. So in this case, we have Azure Blob Storage. Delimited text. Yes, let's say source. And I have this Azure below storage one where I have where file is residing. So I can select here source and then I can select the file customer. Okay. And then I will move here onto the sync. And again, I need to create new data set. Same Azure below storage. And this time I can give them DS archive. And here Azure below storage one. And I can select destination archive and OK. 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 Now let me make this dynamic. So I will click here on archive, add dynamic content. So I can mention like this archive, they are and then this one at the rate. And uh, for me, date time, and under that, I can do UTC now. And uh, my format, I want format Y, 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 MM, DD. And I can close this in the curly braces.
okay let's try to publish this so basically we don't need this one here yeah okay let me publish this and see whether the folder is created and uh, file will be moved there after running the pipeline so it's publishing it will take a while once it is published we go we get a message here publish successfully yeah publish completed now i can run this and check whether it is working fine it's running again it will take some time maybe 30 seconds let's wait <clears throat> yes it got succeed and if i refresh this see i ha i have bought this date and under that we have this file so as i mentioned we have this date and file now automatically every day it will be changed and file will be moved here now if i need to create year and month then what i need to do let me show you i will go here and open the sync here i just need to copy this whole control c like this till this one okay and instead of whole i need year and after that i need month okay let me publish this and then we will see So again, it may take a while. So it is published now. I can uh, execute this. And then after that, we can see if we can see two folders, year and month, and under that, we will be able to see the file. So it's running. Yeah, it got succeed. Let me refresh again. It may take a while. So see, this year folder and then this month folder and this is the file. Now, another one is year month and then date so what will i do i will again go here and sing open the data set and move here and i will copy this again control c and this time i can mention read it okay okay and then publish this now we can see the three folder once the pipeline will be run so i can execute this it's running so let me try to basically understand this so what's happening here if i take this on notepad so we have this archive folder after that, it is divided basically into three parts. This is the year part, this is the month part, and this is the day part. So if you see here, so it's running. Let me check whether it, it would succeed or not. Yeah. Archive. And then year month and day 
see i have this file so actually here if you see this is the formatting i am doing for the year and all are same just i am changing year to month and similarly here month to date like this we can create i hope this video could be useful thank you everyone